too hot. Man's too hot. Wait, hold up a second. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone turn it off! Please, someone turn it off! Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Strawberry Jam here. I'm so sorry. It's a little bit windy in here. I can't really hear you guys. Make it stop, please. Please. Oh. Oh, that's so much better. Anyway, it's your boy, Strawberry Jam here, bringing you another episode of Boundless here on the Strawberry Jam channel today. Hopefully, you guys are all doing absolutely great. I'm never going to ever fulfill that streak of uploading a Boundless episode every other day. Guys, it's just too goddamn hot, dude. It was 42 degrees the other day. Or I'll translate it for you American viewers. It was 107.6 degrees yesterday. It was really hot, so um, I couldn't really do any work. I was an idiot and rented a house that doesn't have any air conditioning and i live in australia <laughs> so yeah that was two days ago and then yesterday i woke up to fill my balance and i spilled my coffee and then for like three hours i was just cleaning my desk and my walls and and my myself like the coffee just went all over my desk all over my equipment all over everything and then when i was cleaning it all dripped onto me like dude it was an awful start to the day that's probably like the most petty excuse ever but today we ain't got no excuses today is episode 13 of balance which may be a little bit of an unlucky episode ah what did I just say? Uh, so yeah, episode 13 might be a bit of an unlucky episode. Let's hope that nothing else happens like that. But we can also make it a very good episode. Now, if you guys missed the last episode, there wasn't much that was going on. If you missed the episode before last episode, there is, a, I don't know, there was quite a bit going on, I guess. I honestly have no memory. But if I come down to the mystical agriculture farm, things are looking pretty much the same. I wasn't really on my computer for the past few days because I was sweating my balls off. So we currently have four enderman seeds. We've got two gold seeds over here. We still don't have a second nature seed and we still don't have a second fire seed or glowstone seed. But hey, we can keep looking up. These diamond seeds are growing fantastically. What is that? 12 diamond seeds right now? Dude, I'm going to be rich in no time. I have like three full plots of inferior essence. I've sort of stopped breaking it because it's so much effort now when I break it all. Like, oh my God. I also have to wait for it all to grow and then, oh man, oh, it's so much effort. But from like one harvest here, we can get like one tier five essence, I think. Or maybe it's one tier four. I don't know. But I have 14 superior essence right now, which I think is new nearly four is it four super supremium essence okay yeah so i have three of this and i need eight of these to make my wither skeleton skull seeds so we're not too far off dude we're not too far off honestly i think that's what i'm saving for right now i don't think any of these other seeds are too important i think once i do all these seeds on this list i want to do the alloy seeds from like ender io but for now i think i just want to get that wither skeleton skull seed because i want to get a portal gun or something cool dude because moving around on my base is getting a little bit annoying dude i need that portal gun and i guess before we go up i just want to do one more final little harvest hey would you look at that another stack and 20 inferior essence add that to the pile now as far as today's episode i don't really know what's going on so i'm going to take a little look at my episode list over here so i guess i can tick off i don't know because i already did that um, so I guess first thing we should just get the boring ish out of the way, which is applied energetics. I think we need another one of these ME drives. I was sort of looking at a lot of the items in here, and if I wanted to upgrade my disc to a 4K ME cell, these hold the same amount of items, so it would hold 63 types of items, but the stack limit that it will take is 4,000. So say if I have 63 types of items, between those 63 types of items, I can have 4,000 items in total. So 63 types of items. 4,000 total items. Does that make sense? I should have just gone with refined storage, dude, because refined storage actually has like so much better storage. It's, it's just like 4,000 is 4,000 items. But I don't know how to do that. I only know how to do this. And I hate learning. That's why I dropped out of school, dude. I hate learning. I'm kidding. That's a joke. Everyone loves learning. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to make another drive. And then I'm also just going to have some more 1K storage cells in there. Because if you look at a lot of these storage cells, a lot of these are full on the types, but not the bytes. I think in the future, I'll make like one 4K cell or two 4K k cells but for now i'm gonna make another drive and i'm gonna make some more regular cells because i think i made a bunch of the logic processes how many of these do i have i, was, I made 10 i have 10 of them jeez i made a lot but i don't think we have enough set of squats to make that many today so emmy drive requires two of these engineering processes oh yeah that was just the diamond and the silicon as far as our power situation everything's been holding up so good like this has always been over like 4.9 million unless i do a bunch of stuff with all these machines over here this is running so well i was a little bit hesitant on making it a second drive but after seeing this run 
running so well, I, I, I can easily make a second drive. And if this starts to tank, I can just make another cell out there because that one cell out there wasn't the hardest thing to make. All right, there we go. Two engineering processes. And do I have everything else in here? Perfect. Another ME drive. Very nice. Put you down right there. I need another cable. So I can connect these drives together. And then I need to make these storage disks. Whoa, I do not want to use pure service quartz. Why does it prioritize that over regular service quartz? That's actually terrifying. Okay, so I think we can make three of these for now. Oh, I can make another one, four. Actually, wait, I can make five. Okay, there we go. Now it's putting the charged service quartz in there. Nah, I don't want to use any of that ish. And then I need some of this quartz glass. I can only... Oh, no! I only have eight pieces of quartz glass. Okay, I'm going to have one extra storage component. And one, two, three, and lucky last, number four. And let's open up this drive right here. And now we have so much extra storage. I shouldn't have to worry about space for a very, very long time. Or at least for like another few stacks of items. I can put all this crap in there. And then I can put all this crap in here as well. Oh my goodness. And that's my last chest, dude. I think everything up here on this level is empty. Now I just have stuff downstairs that I gotta bring up. Mostly just a bunch of rubber chickens, which I don't really want in here. But this thing is so smart, dude. It like spreads things around and moves them around from certain discs to other discs. This artificial intelligence is smarter than me. Well, then again, this piece of toast on the floor is probably smarter than me. <laughs> What the heck's that noise? All right, we definitely do have a lot of crap down here that I need to move up, but most of it is rubber chickens. Okay, I want to see how many rubber chickens I can put in my storage drive. If I can fit all these rubber chickens in there, that's going to be pretty impressive, dude. Oh, I forgot I had all this wood down here. Uh... Oops. <laughs> and I think that's everything, dude. If I type in rubber chicken, we have 126 rubber chickens in there. And I think they don't, like, stack individually. If I... What the heck? Get off my head. If I open this up, you can see that we have two 1K storage cells completely empty. And this one still has some space on it. All these ones in here are basically full. So I think if items don't stack like traditionally, like in your inventory like this, they still stack within the ME system. I guess it's because like their data is exactly the same. But if items have different data, like a tool that's used and has different durability, they won't stack in the ME system. So I think I was very wrong about the ME system. But dude, this is freaking dope, dude. I still got room for another six cells in here, man. I could fit so much more stuff. This anvil, this crystal chest. I can even put this oak furniture paneler in there. I got so much more room. All this stuff's going to fit. So let's take those two things off our list. And next thing is the fun part of the episode. So on the server, we have a mod installed called Security Craft. And Security Craft adds a bunch of cool things that, you know, help secure your base. It adds the briefcase, which we've used a couple times on the server. Certain things don't work very well because everyone on the server is opt. We all trust each other on this server. It's not, uh... <clears throat> Never mind. So security craft adds security cameras. And I think I also need this, the camera monitor. And lucky for us, this is like kind of like a normie mod. So it's all easy to make. The first thing I need to make is this reinforced glass. Uh, okay, Google. How do I make reinforced glass from security craft? My apologies. I don't understand. God damn, even Google doesn't know how to do it. And we're back with the Strawberry Jam Show. Oh, wait, I forgot to Google what I was supposed to Google. All right, apparently I just type in SC help and that gives me a book which tells me how to make everything. Oh, that just made my life a lot harder or easier. How do I make reinforced glass? Place down normal glass and break it with a universal block reinforcer. All right, click it with the universal block reinforcer, put it in the slot and close the GUI. All right, so your boy needs to make a universal block reinforcer. Oh, this one, here we go, boom. So level one, level two or level three. Okay, we'll just make the level one to start with. So we need a laser block, which requires a redstone block. So let's put that in there. Then we got the universal block reinforcer. And now do I just put down glass and that freaking reinforces the glass? Wait, let me see. Okay, oh, I open it up, put it in there. Uh, Close it. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, that's cool. That's probably one of the most scuffed ways to create something. But hey, I'm not hating on the mod. Okay, now we wanted a security camera. There we go. We got one of those. And then I also wanted one of the security monitors. Boom. We got one of those. Very nice. Oh my goodness. This looks like a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> So we're placing this on the outside of our seed farm because our seed farm is now getting a little bit, you know, a little bit scary, especially once we get those wither seeds, like we're going to be very rich. And I feel like we're going to be under possible attack. So we're going to put one of these security cameras right here. 
Oh my goodness. Look at that thing looking around, dude. Ain't no one gonna mess with me. People aren't really scared of security cameras, but as soon as they see the move, they're like, oh God, I'm putting this chocolate pile back, dude. I ain't stealing this one today. And then if I whip out one of these, actually, I think I shift right click this on here. There we go. Bounce a camera at X, blah, blah, blah. If I right click this guy, uh, camera one, I'm on the inside of it. Oh my goodness, you can zoom in so far with this thing, dude. And his night vision, apparently. Oh, well, I guess that got just slightly brighter. Oh, and then with WASD, you can move around like this. Oh my goodness, dude. And if you guys are wondering the reason why I couldn't see myself on the camera, because the way it works is it sort of just, it makes your character invisible and then teleports them over to the camera. So when I do use this camera, well, I guess people on the server are going to know what's up, but I need to take off my hat. Oh, I already have my hat off. Wait, I want to put a hat on now. Guys, I lost faith in the hats mob, by the way. It took me 10 episodes to get a new freaking hat, dude. On the 10th episode, I got two new hats, I think, and I didn't even realize it because i think we have it tweaked on our server to like where it's really hard to get hats like even if you kill the mob and get the achievement you still might have a chance of not getting the hat and for 10 episodes straight i wasn't getting hats it was driving me insane but let's see we can look outside our camera from all the way up here wait what's that over there oh it was nothing all right never mind sorry guys but the next thing i'm wondering is can i look at my security camera in let's say the deep dark all right here goes nothing boom Oh, I can't look at it in another dimension. No! What about over here? I'm secretly hanging under my base. No one would ever know I'm here. Can I view the camera like this? Oh, I can. Oh, and it's getting dark, dude. Activate night vision. Wow. <gasps> I see something over there. Oh, it's just a tree. Okay, that's cool. Let's take off the security cameras, but I also want to get some sort of, like, secure door. There's the reinforced iron door, then there's the scanner door. And I think this one's really cool, because only I'm going to be able to access this. Unless someone disguises as me. But man, security craft's cool, because everything is very simple to craft. All right, so we need the iron door, and then put it back in the system. Then we need this thing. Boom, put that back in the system. And then we need one of these retinal scanners. Boom, scrap. Put that back in the system, and then we're done, dude. Scanner door, very nice. Nice. All right, place this down right here above our security cameras. Now, I think I just got to go up to the door like this. Oh my goodness, dude. What the heck? Hello, strawberry jam. Wait, do I have to close it on my way in? Wait, what the heck? Close, dude. Oh, wait, what the, What on earth? Is it on timer? Hello? There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. So once I get away from it, it automatically closes. Uh, close? Hello? Uh, <laughs> are you going to close, man? Oh, wait, what the heck? I'm so confused. Oh, I think I gotta punch it to close it. Okay. All right. No really idea how this works, but I, I feel like it kind of works. I love how it says hello, strawberry jam in the chat. Oh my goodness, dude. This is so cool. I need to use more of the security craft stuff, dude. My, my base needs to be more secure than, the, than, than what it already is. My base ain't secure at all, dude. See, this is why I can never have security cameras, dude. If I, I can never have security cameras in real life because I just constantly be doing this. I just could be constantly be like, all right, anyone, anyone outside my place? What, what's going on? What's going on out here? Night, night vision? Uh, it doesn't look like this. Yet. Wait, what was that? Ah, oh, it's just a bush. Okay. Okay, and last, <laughs> last thing to do on my list of things to do in today's episode is to move the machines. A while ago, we made the thermal foundation room or the thermal expand, whatever the freaking mod's called. But yeah, we made this room down here and then I think I got distracted with mystical agriculture. We never really continued stuff with it. So since everything has been confined into the storage system, I can sort of just pick all this stuff up and that's really all I got to move. And if there's anything in these chests, I can break all these chests. I can break all these hoppers as well. And then I guess the only machines I need are the pulverized and the redstone furnace actually i might just take down all my machines and then in the future i'll make a room for ender io if i need to like move out and expand because ender io definitely has a lot more machines than thermal expansion for now i just have these two ender io machines i gotta take all these cables as well and i guess i'm gonna take the culinary generator down there just in case i need some extra you know power if we're doing a lot i also take the ender chest man dude we're finally moving forward from this room it feels good i should also break this little uh concrete making machine here as well i don't want this room having anything Thing useful anymore dude and lucky for me this room is right under all of my power stuff so i'm actually thinking i might make the full move down dude just to get her out of this crappy little cobblestone room all right let's run the cable down here that's perfect just like that and then i'm gonna run the basic capacitor first and then the basic capacitor is gonna go into the main capacitor because this one can output at 5,000 hours a tick i don't think i'm ever gonna be using that amount of energy but i want all my cabling running out of this one rather than this one this one's just gonna be like the buff 
alpha. And this one only has the cell running in it, which only goes 40 RF a tick. And then hopefully I can get some more capacitor banks so we can just have like a big battery right here. And behind this whole thing is going to be all the wiring and I can actually go pretty far back here. So all our wiring is going to have a lot of room to work with. I think I should grab our ME system first and put that down so that can like centralize where everything's going to go. I think I'm going to put my ME system in this wall over here. So I think what I want to do is have the drives like this in what the heck that messes with them weirdly. The drives can be in the wall like around here. A little crafting terminal can go right here. That looks like absolute crap. We'll fix that in a second. Why does so many YouTubers talk like this when they're building stuff in Minecraft? Having all my items stored electronically is getting very annoying because now whenever I want to access one item, I need to power on this system. Hold up. Okay. All right. Energy acceptor goes here. And apart from the glitch textures, that looks pretty good. So I need four of these cable anchors, which I need to cut one of these many ingots, nether quartz, cutting knife. Okay. And what one of these facades does is you, you can put one of these on a cable and it stops the cable sort of exposing the block. Oh crap. No, not like that. Like that, I guess. No, not like that either. Maybe like this. There we go. And then as far as all my machines go, I either want to have them on the ground here or in the wall. So I think I can put my pulverizer there, my redstone furnace there, and my sawmill there. And then on top of that, I can have my alloy smelter and my sag mill. But they look so cool in the wall like that, dude. They look like, oh my God, I look like a freaking factory man, a machine man. And the cool thing with Ender IO is you can actually place multiple cables in the same spots. So all these machines should be getting power, but I also want to have it so once I put an item in here, the pipe will take it back around and then put it back into my MEC. System. So I need more of these item conduits, which I think I can craft. How many can I craft of these? 16, 24, 32. Oh, 40, 47. Very nice. So what I should do is have this coming out of here and I should definitely make this on insert. And then I can put this guy onto here and I can connect them together. Ooh, this is getting very, very confusing. Trust me, guys, this is just as confusing for me as it, as it is for you. Just around like this and we should all be connected. I guess the only way I can test is if I put some cobblestone into the redstone furnace. Is this going to get extracted immediately? Uh. Oh, wait, no, I just need to do one more thing. I need to put this on the back and it's still not working. Uh, hello. Okay, pretty sure I need an ME interface before I can put stuff into the ME system like that. And I happen to have one formation core and one and in the core from when I made the crafting terminal for the ME system. So I'm very lucky about that because that thing would have taken forever to make. So I think it just works like this. Boom. This make this insert. But is this working now? Is this pulling stuff? It does. It pulled stuff out. Oh my goodness. That's actually so cool, dude. It's working so flawlessly. Aren't I just a genius? Hold up. Let me try something else. I have a bunch of this dark oak wood and I want to use my uh, sawmill over here. I just going to make the output of both on the back here. Auto output enabled and then boom. Let's see how this guy goes. Oh my God, dude, it pulls it out so quick. Look at it go. And if I don't bump my crafting table here, I type in like sawdust. Oh, you can see how sawdust is going up. Dark oak planks. Oh, they're just going up by the second. Dude, look at them. 60, 66, 72. What about if we put half a stack of bones in the uh, pulverizer over here? Oh my God, all our machines are just going ham right now, guys. How much power are we losing? 86 iron for tick. Oh my goodness. Put some cobblestone in the sag mill as well. Let's make half a stack of energetic alloys while we're at it as well, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is probably like full potential power that we'll ever be using of our, like what we have here so far. I definitely need some other source of power out there for when it's nighttime, dude, because this is not going to last very long. I gotta hurry up and get in bed. I'm wasting so much power not in a bed. Ah, oh, go, go. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go. Give me my power back, dude. I'd rather lose 80 R for tick than 126 R for tick. Okay. Last two machines I have is my charger and my inscriber. I'm gonna put the inscriber right there. I don't think I even need a facade for that because you really can't see through it. And then as far as the charger, I think I'm just gonna put it back here because it needs to be powered from the bottom. And if I use the facades like on the blocks on the floor and stuff, it's just gonna ruin like my, my, my design and stuff. So if I need to charge any service quads, I just gotta come back here, which ain't no big deal. But um, there it is, guys. The uh the factory is uh is has begun some some sort of progress. Now you just gotta leave because now nah, you should just leave because um I, I gotta go edit my video. So there's not going to be anything else to watch. Um, you can watch the outro. Yeah, watch the outro. <laughs> Skip it,